Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today we are looking at some pennies that are worth money. So we'll show you guys what to look for on your coins that can give them some value. And don't forget every single Sunday we are doing a live stream. We're going to be giving away coins absolutely free to you guys. So feel free to join every single Sunday. All you got to do is press the bell on my channel. It will notify you guys when I go live. That way you guys can hop right in the live chat. All right, so let's start off first here with a 1966. Lincoln cent. Now as we see here on the front of the coin, looks damaged, looks scratched. However, this coin has been struck on a split blank planchet. It only weighs 1.18 grams. So very light penny as these are supposed to weigh 3.1 grams. This coin here because of that sold for over $65. Now, moving on to a 1969 D mint mark. Now, this coin here, you see that line there at the bottom? Kind of looks like damage, like someone intentionally done that. However, that is actually a incomplete clip. So, the coin would have been clipped there. So, that is an incomplete clip. Here on the reverse, we see that as well. This 1969 penny sold for around $100. So, not too bad for that coin. Moving on to another 1969. Now something like this, of course, is a super extreme type of mint error. Now this coin here has been double struck. The first strike being 80% off center, second strike being 98% off center, and this coin sold for over $55. Of course, you can look for off centers on all kinds of different coins as well. Now here's another off center. You know, some are gonna be more extreme off center, some are not gonna be so off center. This coin was double struck with the first strike being 55% off center, 1974 D, and this penny sold for a little over 50 bucks. Not too bad, $50. Now here is a 1984. Now this coin here, 10% off center, and it's on a defective planchet. Really cool, I like this coin. Coin only sold for around 60 bucks. 50, 60 bucks here is the range that we kind of are settling in on here, it seems. Some of these really not worth getting graded. It just depends on, you know, the grading company who you go through, how much it's going to cost to get your error coins graded. Uh, so, 60 bucks for that penny. Now, here's a 2001 Lincoln Cent. 25% off center this coin was struck and it's graded by NGC. This coin sold for around $60 as well. Now here's a coin, we can't see the full date. It is from the 1960s. Again, we got an off center as well as a clip error. So a curved clip there, pretty uh, you know obvious type of error. Don't need uh, microscopes or anything for uh, errors like this. This penny sold for around $65. Now here's a no dated Lincoln cent. This coin's from the 1950s, can't see the last digit of the date. It's got a ragged clip and a partial collar. It only weighs 2.59 grams, and this penny sold for around $35. So really, not worth getting graded in my opinion. Now here is a no date, again, from the 1980s, 1980 to 1982 to be specific. It's got a major clip error. It only weighs 2.26 grams as a result of that, of course. And this coin sold for around $45. And these coins did sell in 2020, so this year. Now here's a 1929, it's got a ragged clip as well. So we see that there at the top left of the coin. And this penny sold for around 50 US dollars. Again, we got a broad strike taking place here on a 1935 wheat penny. And because of that, this penny sold for over $80. Next up is another off-center error. Man, we should just call this the off-center coin video. This is a 1940 wheat penny struck 15% off-center, and this penny sold for around $60 also. Here is the famous 1943 steel penny struck 20% off-center. This penny sold for around $200. That's right, 200 buckaroos. Moving on to a 1946, now this coin only weighs 2.44 grams. Of course, they're supposed to weigh 3.1 grams uh, for this wheat penny here. It has an elliptical clip. So we see that there, most noticeably at the top of the coin. And this penny sold for around $60. 
This is the $60 coin video. Now this is a 1954 D mint mark, Lincoln wheat cent. And this coin has been broad struck and we also see that indent there on the right side of the coin. Now this penny here, because of that, sold for over $55. Now here are some other mint error pennies that you should always be on the lookout for. Now here is a 1917. Now this coin here is not in good condition. Either it's at the same grade, a good six, you know, but it has a double die obverse. So that's where the value is going to come in at. So here's an example of what that doubling looks like on the 1917 wheat penny so you want to look for that on the lettering of the coin as well as the date 1917 itself you can do that with your usb coin microscopes that i have available on couchcollectibles.com link is below every single video that i upload now this coin because of that double die obverse that doubling on the front of the coin sold for around 125 dollars now of course if this coin was in much better condition it would have sold for a lot more money now here is a 1919 estimate mark. Now you can see that it's been struck 20% off center. Again, I say this in my videos a lot. You can look for all centers on all kinds of different coins out there. Some of them are more off centers than others. So there's a lot of different ones to look for out there. Now this coin here sold for over $1,300, $1,300. Moving on to a 1920. Now you can see that it's kind of got like a goldish, you know, tone to it. And that's because this 1920 wheat scent, and that's because this 1920 wheat scent was struck on a Cuban one cent planchet. It only weighs 2.5 grams. Here's an example of what that Cuban coin looks like that was supposed to be struck on this planchet. However, a Lincoln wheat scent design was uh, struck on this planchet. So this coin here, as a result of that, sold for over $2,800, nearly a $3,000 coin. Same kind of thing with this coin here. However, this is a 1941 wheat penny, and it was struck on a Panama one cent planchet. So here's an example of what that coin looks like. And again, this coin sold for over $4,900, nearly a $5,000 coin. Moving right along to a 1943. Now, of course, we all know in 1943, they produced the steel pennies. They did not make any copper pennies uh, for that year. But here on the reverse looks pretty normal. However, here on the front of the coin, we see that the coin was struck through a capped die. So you actually see the word sent backwards. You see the reverse design backwards going through there. And you can very faintly see the outline of Lincoln himself there on the obverse of the coin. Now this penny here sold for over $2,500. Speaking of steel pennies, here is what is supposed to be a 1943S steel penny. It was struck 15% off center, and not even that, it was also struck on a silver 10 cent planchet that only weighs 2.5 grams. So this steel penny was actually struck on what is uh, supposed to be a silver dime. That's the best way to explain it. This coin sold for over $6,000 as a result of that error. Now here's another 1943 steel penny that has a mint error. It has an obverse indent with a partial collar, which we could see there clearly very, you know, self-explanatory type of error here on the reverse. You know, it looks pretty normal. This coin sold for a little over $330. Now we looked at one that was struck on a Cuban planchet, a Panama coin planchet. Now this coin here is a 1943S. Of course, it's supposed to be the steel penny. However, this coin was struck on a Peru five centavos planchet. And here's what that coin looks like. It weighs 3.0 grams. So this penny here sold for over $6,000 because of that error. Now here's a 1944, you know, 1944, very, very common wheat penny. You know, probably a lot of you guys out there have a 1944 wheat penny. This is the D mint mark. However, this is a D over an S mint mark. So an over mint mark taking place here. Now keep in mind, it's only graded at an extra fine 40. So it's not really got that high of a grade. Definitely not low, low, but uh, nothing like a mint state grade or nothing like that. 
Uh, if it was a mint state grade, of course, it would sell for a lot more money. This coin only sold for around $50, but it has that D over the S mint mark. And again, here is what that D over the S mint mark will look like on the 1944 wheat penny. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear. Thank <laughs> you.